Hey there! Ginger Island is an awesome new explorable place in Stardew Valley, but most of its content is blocked by the monolithic task of finding all of the golden walnuts. So, in this video, I will be showing you where and how you can find all of them. As soon as you land on Ginger Island, you will see Leo in a tree. When he sees you, you will get a fright and run away. Simply follow him to his little house. On the way, you will find your first golden walnut just sitting in a bush. Make sure to get it and give it to the parrot in his little hut. This will start your journey of finding many, many more golden walnuts. The next one is actually right in Leo's hut. Just hit this tree with an axe a few times and you'll get another walnut. I actually missed this one and only got it much, much later in my playthrough. Before the entrance to his hut, there's actually a hidden pathway over here that leads you to a little puzzle. Just don't forget to grab the golden walnut at the bottom over here. To solve this puzzle, you will have to find gem birds on any day that it's raining on Ginger Island. They will drop a random gem and you will have to place it on the appropriate place. If you found the gem bird at the northern part of the island, you will place it at the northern pedestal. You will be rewarded with five golden walnuts. Just find all of the gem birds and you're good to go. You can also get three golden walnuts by planting a banana tree and bringing a single banana and placing it on this altar. A cute gorilla will appear and give you golden walnuts. To get a banana tree, crack open a few golden coconuts at Clint the blacksmith. You will find golden coconuts by shaking trees around Ginger Island. You can also get a single golden walnut from cracking open golden coconuts. You will find plenty of golden walnuts hidden in the ground. Anything that looks suspicious will probably give you a golden walnut. Just hit it with your hole, just like that, another walnut. There is also a hidden entrance over here that will help you get another walnut. You can also fish in the water to the left for a surprise. There is a hidden path to this tree and will allow you to find another golden walnut. I already got this one and can't seem to find the footage, but there is a golden walnut here. I promise. And the last one for this area, there's a golden walnut between two trees. Just hold between the green, close to the entrance to the volcano, are also quite a few golden walnuts. Hold the ground right here for one of them, and hidden behind this tree is another. Sometimes his golden walnuts are hidden in plain sight. Once you have found the journal note number 10, you will be able to hold under this tree for a golden walnut and an ostrich egg. Unfortunately, holding this spot before you have found the note will not get you the golden walnut. You can also find one by hoeing between these rocks right over here. In front of Professor Snail's tent, you'll find a rough patch of dirt. Naturally, there's a golden walnut here. To the left of the volcano entrance, there's a hidden path that will eventually lead you to a golden walnut just sitting there on a bush. Another easy one to get that is very well hidden. To the right of the volcano entrance, there is a golden walnut in this tree. Use your slingshot to hit down the golden walnut. Entering the volcano, you will see a large pool of lava. You can simply use your watering can on the lava to create a bridge. There are so many golden walnuts in the volcano, so let's get started. If you go all the way to the left by making a long bridge, you will find an exit that will lead you to two golden walnuts. You should also try and fish in this water for a surprise. Let's go back into the volcano for some more golden walnuts. You can find up to 17 golden walnuts in the volcano by doing all kinds of stuff. Defeating enemies will give you golden walnuts, mining rocks and ores will also give you golden walnuts, and naturally, you'll also get some from opening chests. These should be pretty easy to get, defeat enemies, use bombs on large clumps of rocks, and eventually, you will get all 17. If you are ever unsure if you are missing any golden walnuts, remember you can speak to the parrot in Leo's hut. He will give you hints on where you are missing golden walnuts. Diving deep into the volcano dungeon and getting all the way to floor 10 will get you two golden walnuts as well as a prismatic shard. Quite a decent reward, I must say. Some of the easiest golden walnuts to get as you land on Ginger Island are by fishing. You can get up to five golden walnuts just by fishing anywhere on the island. You only need 10 
golden walnuts to unlock the west side of the island. But unlocking this section will unlock tons of content and will allow you to get plenty of golden walnuts. Right over here on the beach is an X in the sand. Guess what you will get from hoeing this spot? In front of Mr. Key's golden walnut room is a golden walnut just sitting in plain sight on this bush. Right across from that X, you will see four spots on the ground. Between them is another golden walnut. If you go up from the beach, you will find some tiger slimes. You can get a single golden walnut from defeating them. They are actually pretty tanky and hit very hard, so be careful when you're facing them. After getting that walnut, continue going up and you will find another golden walnut just sitting on this bush. It is kind of hidden, but not that bad. Then go up here into this very hard to see cave. There is a fun puzzle here. This puzzle is a Simon Says game. Click on this statue and let the games begin. The gems will light up and play a sound. You will simply have to click on them in the same order that they played initially. It starts off pretty simple with only three tunes and gets more difficult as it continues. You will have to get it right five times in a row to get three golden walnuts. Let me know if you struggle with this puzzle in the comments. I almost spent an entire in-game day trying to solve this puzzle. Across the bridge and between these patches of grass, you can find another golden walnut. There is also a hidden room through this wall. Sorry, I did this one really late at night and it's basically impossible to see what's going on here. But try to get through this tunnel and click at the end for a golden walnut. Again, sorry about the visibility on this one. <laughs> here, where you defeated those slimes, there is a golden walnut on a bush over here. It is hidden by this tree and I also missed this one until much later in the game. You can unlock a farm on Ginger Island by donating 20 golden walnuts. Then you can start farming on Ginger Island. You should definitely be farming on Ginger Island because you can get up to 5 golden walnuts from harvesting crops on your Ginger Island farm. Under your Ginger Island farm, you will see these rocks filled with mussels. You should also mine these as you can get up to 5 golden walnuts from these. Once you have received the journal scrap number 6, you will be able to hoe in the corner here for a golden walnut and a pearl. You can enter the shipwreck over here for another golden walnut. These things are very well hidden. Over here on the beach, you will find this little guy who pops his head out and taunts you. You can place items over the holes to prevent him from running away. I used stone flooring. Then just whack him with your sword and you can get another golden walnut. Go on this spot here for another golden walnut and over here there are four shells. Go in between them for another golden walnut. To the left of Mr. Key's golden walnut room, you can squeeze through here and continue all the way to the end. There you will find another golden walnut just sitting over there. Next to your Ginger Island farmhouse, there is a small cave with a frog guy in it. He has a small quest for you. All you need to do is plant and grow melons, wheat and garlic on your farm. Once they have fully grown, just speak to the frogman and you will get 15 golden walnuts. Remember that you shouldn't harvest them, otherwise it won't count. You can buy melon seeds in summer and you can buy garlic and wheat seeds in fall. If you like this video, consider hitting subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Alrighty, back to the video. You can restore the beach resort right in front of Willy's boat for 20 golden walnuts. When it isn't raining, some townspeople will come to the beach resort, which is pretty cool. But by restoring the beach resort, you will unlock the right side of the beach. Here you can enter a pirate cove, and at the very end of the pirate cove, there is a single patch of dirt that you can hold for a golden walnut. The word golden walnut is starting to sound funny to me now. <laughs> On the beach, you can fish in the star-shaped pool of water for a golden walnut and hold this little spot over here for another one. If you come into the pirate cove on any even day after 8pm, there will be a bunch of pirates here and then you can play darts with this pirate man. You have to reach 301 points within a certain number of throws. Do this 3 times for 3 golden walnuts. If you come to the beach when it's raining, there will be a mermaid here and you will need to play her a song for some golden walnuts. Place a flute block under these stones and then tune them. The big stone is 5 
5 clicks and the small stones are 1 click. So, from left to right, it's 2 clicks, then 11, then 9 clicks, then 5, and finally 7 clicks. Once you have tuned all of the flute blocks, walk across them from the left to right and the mermaid will reward you with the 3 golden walnuts. To get the recipe to craft a flute block, give gifts to Robin until you have 6 hearts with her. Restoring this bridge for 10 golden walnuts will give you access to the dig site and a bunch of golden walnuts. Up from the dig site and to the left, you can find a golden walnut. And if you go to the right through this hidden tunnel and over this bridge, you can find another golden walnut. I missed this initially, but there is also a golden walnut if you hold between the rocks right over here. You can free Professor Snail by using a bomb on that rock blocking a mushroom cave and then you can do some tasks for Professor Snail. The first and easy to complete tasks are the survey questions. The answer to the first question is 22 and the answer to the second question is 18. Then you will need to find a bunch of fossils around Ginger Island and donate them to Professor Snail for 11 golden walnuts. I didn't want to make this video too long so there is a link in the description showing the locations of every fossil. Now, for the last 5 golden walnuts, speak to Birdie to get a quest and a war memento. Then take the war memento to Kent and he will give you some tomato salt. Bring the tomato salt to Gus at the Star Drop Inn and he will reward you with a Stardew Valley Rose. Sandy will love this. So bring it to her and she will give you an advanced TV remote. George will really appreciate this remote and reward you with a shiny stone that you can then give to the wizard. The wizard is really reluctant to reward you, but after some convincing, he will give you a worm? <laughs> hmm, what are we gonna do with a worm? I guess we can give it to Willy so you can use it as bait. And then finally, Willy will give you a pirate locket that you can then give back to Birdie. Doing all of that will give you 5 golden walnuts. Quite the fish quest I must say. And that's it, that's all of the golden walnuts. But I actually am missing one. I cannot seem to find it. If you have found all of the golden walnuts and you know which one I missed, please let me know in the comments below. I spent hours looking for it, but I just can't find it. And thank you so much for watching the entire video. Or maybe you clicked on the video and skipped until this exact point. But either way, thank you so much. And as always, I will see you in the next video.